Hello, I thought I'd share a few things that I've learned in working with the M Audio Oxygen Pro Mini with Ableton Live Lite 11, which comes for free if you get the M Audio Oxygen Pro and register it. This is a pretty capable keyboard. It has a lot of options, but unfortunately, not all of them are well documented with Ableton. A few of the buttons here have some text next to them, but it doesn't really tell you exactly what it does with Ableton. It's actually quite misleading. So getting to understand this is kind of important if you want to use this, for example, for live looping. There are many functions here that you can do directly from the keyboard and get a lot done with Ableton, but you kind of need to know what's going on. So I want to share a little bit of the things that I've learned in how to use the keyboard with Ableton. The first thing that you'll notice in Ableton when you start it after connecting the keyboard is that first of all, you need to connect the keyboard first and then start Ableton because if you start Ableton and then connect the keyboard, it's not necessarily going to be picked up by the software and it's not going to show you uh, this red bar here. This red bar here marks the selector of the clips that you have pre-recorded or that you're going to record. By using the knob here right under the screen, you can kind of scroll up and down with this red selector. This helps you play the clips or record the clips. It depends if you are in this uh, recording armed mode or not for this particular channel. Uh, so for channel number one here, I have recording armed, so it's actually going to play. And the arming of these channels is done through here. The slides also will now control the output volume basically of each channel and this controls the arming. So I can click here and now the keyboard's not gonna play anything. But if I arm it, it is. Uh, and I can go to a different channel. This would be our bass. And these would be our drums. All right, so this selector goes up and down and you can kind of get an idea of which of the channels are armed and uh, ready to play by the color here. It gets this uh, yellow color and the ones that are free are going to be white. This channel is armed, so it's gonna be black right now. And this would be for playing or essentially stopping because there's nothing in that channel that will actually stop playing. But if it's armed, then it's going to go black. That's when you can actually start recording for this channel. Right, so it's gonna play that back, uh, but I have it set up at eight bars, so that's gonna be a little while uh, for it to stop. And now, if this channel is playing right now, we want to stop it, we can go on a white pad and hit that, and that's gonna stop this channel from playing. So I have a few already pre-recorded channels in here. If I hit the pad for this channel, it's gonna start playing. All right, and the stop, play, and record buttons here actually work out fine. They do the function that you expect them to do. Now, let's say we wanna play all of these channels together. We can use this button here. It says pad bank, but really what it does is plays all the channels in that row. And now we wanna clear. We just need to go to a place that they're all clear, hit pad back again that's going to clear the clips that are playing. And if I want to play the second row, I could just scroll one down with the knob, scroll one down. And that will be the second row of clips. And we can also work with them individually of course. Uh, so we can start playing first row and then cue up the second clip on the, um, just on the electric piano channel.
All right. There's a few other things that the Oxygen Pro Mini can do for us in Ableton. And the first is controlling some of the functions for each of the channels. So I have the electric piano set up here. And if I use any one of the knobs, it's going to change the filter basically, or the parameters of this. So we can, we can actually hear that. give it more reverb oh, you get the idea so those knobs can be uh, can be used for that if you select a channel you can start controlling that channels parameters uh, the other thing that the knobs can do is actually control the sends uh, but the way to get there is to use the shift button and then this lights up and actually here uh, it's actually true because on the M Audio Oxygen Pro Mini, you get the pan, device, and send pads. If I set it up to sends, then each one of these knobs is going to see how much of that channel, we get four knobs and four potential channels, how much of that channel is going to send it into reverb, right? So let's play this channel, for example. You see it shows up on the reverb. This will be the second channel. It goes full into reverb. Or not at all. This would be the knobs up in here. Um, the same could be done for panning. So you can set this one to go left and the other one to go right. set it up all from the keyboard. Another thing to notice is that on the keyboard, we have the back and forward, or basically bank right and bank left keys. And that's gonna move our selector square. So if we had another channel, let's say a MIDI channel, and we would, um, we would want to go to select that. If we had more than that, let's say we had you had another channel, a fifth channel. Uh, now the banks can move left and right, and we can start selecting uh, channels four and five in our pads, and even start working with them the same way, recording and so on. The button up here uh, for DAW or preset is basically choosing either to work with Ableton with the functions that I've shown or to disable that and just go standard MIDI keyboard. So these pads will be routed to some notes on the keyboard and so are most of the buttons here. Um, but this, if, if the light is on, then the DAW is controlling uh, what the keyboard does and some of the functions in it. A lot of the other functions that the keyboard uh, function exactly the same with or without the DAW, like the octave. And you can also set up things like note repeat and latching and so on. And those will be the same with or without the DAW. Another thing to remember here or to know is this global mode function. Turning it off will actually um, will go out from uh, the channel control mode and allow you to use the arpeggiator or the latch mode uh, in here. So if you set it up for global, then you have your standard arming keyboards. But if you let it go, you can start using the arpeggiator or the repeater. These are a few functions that the M Audio Oxygen Pro Mini can do. They're actually pretty neat for live looping, cording, because they give you a lot of shortcuts for controlling Ableton right from your keyboard and you don't have to uh, start moving around with the mouse so much.
that's all I have. Thanks very much.